hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing another interesting video i'll be reviewing this product you are seeing on the screen it's called light and lovely this is a very popular product and it has been here for quite some time like i used to know this lotion even when i was still very young as a teenager so it's a very popular lotion and very very affordable at that um it has it comes in cream form and lotion the difference is that the cream is thicker and this lotion has a very runny consistency for the smell it has a very nice scent it's those kind of lotions that they will smell you before they meet you you know it has a very strong uh, scent smells like lemon and lemonade and all those kind of um it smells fresh okay um it is a lightening lotion yes it is meant for people who want to lighten their skin it has some really interesting um ingredients like chamomile and aloe vera this really helps to soothe the skin and also helps with reaction from sun and harmful ingredients it also has hazel uh, his witch hazel which also helps with tightening your pores so then another notable thing to know is that it contains hydroquinone it has about two percent of hydroquinone this is the maxi toner it has the regular one and the cream like i mentioned before this lotion is those kind of lotions that are very very hydrating when you apply them on your body you know those lotions that when you touch your skin it will feel like there's water on your skin it tends to trap moisture from the atmosphere to hydrate your skin so it is very 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 hydrating and if you have oily skin or if you are somebody that cannot tolerate like the feeling of something on your skin you might not really like that about this lotion but aside that it is very very moisturizing and hydrating and i think i've mentioned the affordability for whether it does it lighten or not it does it lightens the skin very well i have seen people that tolerate this on their skin on their face they use it on their face they use it on their body with no wahala um if you are not a naturally light person and you go for something like this expect multicolored skin okay expect to have very very bad multicolored skin especially on your leg and your hands and your knuckles those places that are a bit harder to lighten but if you're a light skin person or like you maybe you have caramel skin tone and you want to brighten that skin tone this would work fine it, it can be a lotion that you can use for quite a long time i've seen people that have used this for eight years six years five years going strong and their skin is still okay uh doesn't really give bad reaction only that sometimes on the face some people tend to have you know these white patches we get from contact dermatitis that a lot of people would say yeah i have eczema i have eczema it's not eczema it's called contact dermatitis you might have that on the face for some people which is normal especially if you're using lightning ingredients sometimes you have you get that you can use this triple action cream to combat that or probably stop applying it on your face if you know that you're having such a reaction but generally this lotion i haven't really seen it do anything so bad like that on the skin other than whitening the skin and giving somebody this sweet look it is very affordable you would not believe that something this cheap can actually do the work that it is doing so i guess with everything that i have said in this video so far I should help you make an informed choice in case you want to buy this lotion remember lightening your skin is at your own risk it comes with its own side effects so make sure you do your research well before you buy any lightning product and try to find out if the ingredients on this lotion actually agrees with your skin don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share for more content